So what's going on guys, it's JM and Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, recently, rivals in the super middleweight division, James DeGale and George Groves have been having a back and forth, a war of words again recently. Because George Groves has responded and laughed back at James DeGale's comments that he deserves the biggest split of the money if George Groves and James DeGale fight in a rematch to try and unify the super middleweight titles. James DeGale recently spoke to the Mirror and he is quoted to say here, Groves caught Tudor off early in round six and kept on punching and the referee had to stop it. But I didn't think Groves looked great. He didn't fight the best world champion. Trudenoff is an average fighter who was tough and strong, but very one-dimensional, and I think Groves has gone backwards. Um, Groves responded back to this and talked about the 50-50 split, with the girl saying that is out of the question. He says, I deserve more. He's right. His, sur his surgery is more strategic. He was hoping for a big date this month, and he probably thought he'd get a fight against me or Callum Smith. He will get neither. He probably thinks it's the right time to take some time out. It makes sense if he's not 100% and if I do fight him I want him to be 100% and not make any excuses. There are plenty of big fights out there so we'll see what can be made. I don't need to chase anyone. Everyone is coming for me. I've had quite a few offers for big fights. There's a potential fight with Cameron Smith if he comes through his next fight with Anthony Durrell. George Groves recently broke his jaw as well. In his world title fight against Fedor Chudinov, he broke his jaw in the third or fourth round and he has to have surgery. I think he's just had surgery on the jaw and he will be out, I suspect, for a few months until he can get back in the ring. And James DeGale recently had surgery as well on his shoulder. So these fighters at the minute are out with injury, so the fight probably won't be made anytime soon if it gets made at all. And James DeGale saying that he deserves more money, like, I know a lot of people would think that because James DeGale obviously only has one defeat on his record, he didn't have to fight four world title fights to finally pick up a world title, he did it in his first attempt, I understand that, but in terms of the public, I think George Groves is a bigger fighter than James DeGale in popularity in the UK because Unlike James DeGale, George Groves has stayed in the UK and he's fought a lot of fights in the UK. The only fight he didn't really fight in the UK was the fight against Badu Jack in Vegas in which he lost a split decision for the world title. But George Groves has his own fans. Like George Groves is a quite popular fighter in the UK. George Groves does have the people who don't like him. But when George Groves won the world title at Bramwell Lane, look at the reaction George Groves got. George Groves is a fighter who is liked, even though it did take him four opportunities to finally win a world title. So I understand what James DeGale is saying. He's the one who went and beat Andre Durrell and fought Badu Jack and fought guys like Lucien Boutte and um, Porky Medina out in the States. But the fact is, their rematch would be in the UK. And in terms of popularity, I think George Groves is the more popular fighter, not by loads. Because James DeGale does have his fans. But I think because James DeGale has fought out of the UK and George Groves has stayed in the UK, George Groves is the more popular fighter. Because he's been loyal to the fans. He's stayed and fought in the UK. Fighting guys like Martin Moore, Gutenek, um, David Brofair. Obviously, we all know his two fights with Carl Frotch. The biggest, one of the biggest fights ever in front of 80,000 people at Wembley Stadium. So I think George Groves is the more popular fighter in the UK. So I can understand both sides, but I think for this fight to be over the line, both men need to get 50-50. I think 50-50 for this fight would be okay. I think if George Groves didn't have the world title, then James DeGale can start saying, I deserve most of the pie. But now George Groves has a world title, that will mean a lot for him at the negotiation table. But both guys seem to be... Um, both driven by their ego so it sh could be hard to negotiate a rematch between these two fighters because both fighters don't like each other at all we all know this from the first fight they haven't liked each other for years and years since the amateurs so that's why this fight is so intriguing and it always has been like these two were always meant to fight again 
And if they don't fight again, then I think it will be a disappointment because fans want to see it. Both guys are world champions now. The rivalry is there. The story is there. So why not have a big fight between George Groves and James DeGale in 2018? Because I don't think that fight will happen this year. But why not have it next year? I think that will be a massive fight. And both guys need to really kind of put their ego aside and just try and come up with a deal which fits both guys fairly because both of them are world champions. Obviously, people forget George Groves has beaten James DeGale. He's the only um, fighter to beat James DeGale, so he has that as well, George Groves. So this fight could be very hard to negotiate. In terms of George Groves going backwards, I understand what James DeGale is saying because George Groves, even though he has looked good on the Shane McGuigan, he still hasn't looked the fighter he once was. Like the fighter who fought Carl Frox in the first fight. He never really got that back, George Groves. Don't get me wrong, he looked better recently than he did when he came back after losing to Carl Frox in the rematch when he fought guys like Christopher Rabras and Dennis Douglas. He looked awful in them fights, in my opinion, George Groves. But I don't know. There's something about George Groves that doesn't seem to be there like it used to be. But you can say the same about James DeGale because James DeGale, in his last fight against Badu Jack, he looked ragged in that fight, James DeGale. Especially in the later rounds, like he just looked ragged. He looked exhausted. And James DeGale has never been a fighter with a lot of strength in the super middleweight division. He's never been a fighter who's particularly strong. So... He tends to get bullied in fights, James DeGale, in terms of strength. And against somebody like Badu Jack, who was a lot bigger than him in terms of strength and stuff like that. Badu Jack is a massive super middleweight. He's moved up to light heavyweight. That's how big Badu Jack was in the super middleweight division. So I think both fighters are not as sharp as they once was. So I think the fight should happen soon. And if not, obviously you've got the Callum Smith, Anthony Durrell winner. And you've got Gilberto Ramirez. There's other top contenders as well in the super middleweight division. But the fight that is the most logical and the most beneficial for both fighters is this rematch. It needs to happen. The fans want to see it. The fans think it's the right time. So why not? So yeah, this is just my opinion on this. I think both fighters should get a 50-50 split. You might not agree with this. You might think... James DeGale deserves more because he's the guy who picked up the world title in his first attempt. He's the guy who's been beating fighters on the road. Or well, you might think George Groves deserves the more money because he could be the most popular or the more popular fighter in the UK than James DeGale because James DeGale hasn't fought in the UK for a while. So yeah, just comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Sweet Boxing.